I think we are the only year that had a fire both in the van and in our sound system all in the same year. I know the, uh, the rubber gasket to the exhaust system caught on fire going down the interstate on the van. And shortly thereafter, singing on stage at a camp in South Florida, I think Loosedale, the sound system actually caught on fire on stage. Of course, we, we had to sing really loud for the rest of the, of the show. Uh, we sang uh, at the Montgomery Country Club? Yeah. It had nothing to yeah. do with recruiting. Nothing whatsoever. It had nothing to do with uh, the school. It's that they were having a Christmas party for a bunch of the retired people. So we were just trying to get some traction and mm. get things going. We went out there and sang for them. And we needed practice. It so. was a great crowd. So why not? Yeah. They, they were alive. It was really fun. Uh, they, they were great. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think a lot of our time spent in the van, probably any years would remember driving in the van. Mm. We played cards. And I, I can't remember who drove the van the most. You or Greg? Toss up. Yeah, the two, two, two of you guys drove the van the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Jimmy would sit around this, the side of the table be playing cards. And so how he was calling over the corner. And if Greg was driving, his seat would just cap his chairs. He'd turn around, be driving <laughs> like this while he's uh, playing cards. And, uh, but we, we played cards running down the road uh, for oh, hours. Sure. You're not talking bad about Greg's driving, I know. No, 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 no. no, no. Texting and driving. No. I was no, but Greg did break the front window once. On the other side of Atlanta, we had to ride back, head out the window. Greg drove because Greg broke the window. Head out the window 45 miles per hour all the way back to Montgomery. It took us like four hours or more. That was ridiculous. Yeah, well, he broke it, so he's the one driving with his head out the window. That's the way it works. Yeah. Some, some, of our, some of our earlier performances were a lot of fun here at the school because they had not had us do it before. Mm. So we came in singing these these 50 songs and we came in singing, uh, uh, what was it, the jungle song we sang? The, the Lion Sleeps Tonight, thing. yeah. Yeah, we did, so help me, I did the high part, it wasn't very good. Yeah, it, was, it was, no, it was okay. No, I'm serious, it was pretty bad. It was loud <laughs> and high and uh, obnoxious, but uh, we were just appealing to girls. It didn't make any difference at the time, just wanting to get a grin. Oh, we specialized in loud and high. That was, that was our thing. Loud and high was fun. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My ball and chains in another room. Spring break 2006. Six. Yeah, definitely. 2006. It's on up there. Yeah. I feel old. Uh, we were on spring break in Texas with old Dirk Jones. Old Dirk. <laughs> and uh, we were going to Texas Christian, which is out in the middle of nowhere. And there's got a nice straight stretch of road. And. Uh, in the middle of the road, there's this dip. It goes down, and then it levels out for about a car length, and then it comes back up and flattens out. So we're going to check out the uh, the school the night before. And I'm driving at that point. Right. And I, I'm the one that kind of realizes, hey, this is this is a, a good sized bump, yeah, and this might dip. this might be fun if we were going at a higher rate of speed. Yeah. We hit it. It was a nice little woo. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of fun. 
And so we we're on the way back. He hits it again. You know, it was equally fun the second time. And he looks at me and says, Steve-O, you're driving in the morning. That was... Because whenever we wanted to do something really, really stupid, we would always let him do it because... Happened a lot. I, he was really good at taking the fall for us. So <laughs> we let him. All right. So the next morning we wake up early and it's sprinkling. It's raining just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it was school traffic and it was bumper to bumper. And so we get on this road, we make the turn onto the road, and I'm probably going like five, 10 miles an hour, letting all the traffic in front of me get way out in front. And uh, as soon as they got about, you know, quarter, half a mile in front of us, I just gunned it. Yeah. We, we took our seat belts off, you know, being safe. Man, solid 80. It's solid 80. Yeah. And so when we hit it, we missed the down part of the ramp and just land in the flattened off bottom. We hit it perfect. It was, it was beautiful. I couldn't, uh, uh, you couldn't plan it better. Uh -uh. And we hit it in the springs, you feel like, like sink down. And as they're coming up, we hit the other part of the, the little rays of the dip and we left the ground. I mean, we had to gotten six, seven feet off the ground in a church van with three, 400 pounds of equipment in the back of the van. Yeah. And I'm, I'm holding on to the wheel. Like I, I was, I was, you know, white knuckling the wheel the whole time and I come up and my face is against the roof and I look over and Barry's whole back is pressed up against the roof he's looking at me screaming like I, a, I felt like I was an astronaut I thought we were dead I, and in the back in the back we had dirt and wheel in the middle seat and clay was in the far back seat and when we landed you know just you know, make sure everybody wasn't dead. I looked in the back, and Will had actually floated over the seat into the back, landed on clay. Nobody was in their original space. Nobody was where they were. Dirt was uh, in the crevice. Yeah. And the only people that were, I was the only one that stayed in my seat because I was holding the wheel. You were like in the floorboard. Yeah. We start hearing this noise. Yeah, it sounds like road traffic, but none of us have our windows down. So we, we look to the back. <laughs> And we don't have a back window <laughs> at all. Yeah. And we, uh, we we pull the van over, and we go back. Actually, a couple of us walk back to the where the dip was, and there's like a graveyard of bumpers, broken glass, <laughs> um, tail lights. Uh, all it, yours? No, okay. no, just the glass. No, apparently other people other had uh, done yeah. this not on purpose, but, but not in a 15 passenger church van. For sure. But uh, so we, we um, you know, our admissions counselor, Dirt, wasn't too happy with us. And um, I think the window actually co cost like 350 bucks <laughs> because it had the little heat sensors in it. So oh. it made it more expensive, of course. Oh, and uh, that, that was a great memory. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> Last time that happened, we got in some trouble. We, we talked about riding magic carpets. So that didn't, oh, that was that not. That wasn't good either. Oh, I still to this day don't think that Cornerstone's allowed at that youth rally. Mm -hmm. Now, Barry spent a lot of time on the phone, actually, with everyone. I think on Cornerstone Trips, What's Barry so would actually go down his list of contacts and like, oh, I haven't talked to What's him What's so funny about Let's Barry, you know, all the years he was in Cornerstone, he was always the guy that got all the girls, you know, and now he's the only one not married. That's right. That's right. In your face, so, Barry. That's right. In your face. Why don't you get married? <laughs> Remember that trip? Yeah. Yeah, we were going up north somewhere. No, we were, we were going to Augusta, Georgia. And Will was really sick. I think he had the flu or something, and Chuck was making him sing. We really didn't want to be there. We all kind of had a bad attitude. We were singing in a church in Augusta, Georgia, and uh, we went in there, sang our show. I made a few comments during the show. They ended up, you know, coming back, and I think we got boycotted for a few weeks, something little like that. And uh, we came back out to the van, and Chuck was really mad at us. Uh, Will, oh, Steve-O was sitting in the driver's seat, 
Will was in the passenger seat and me and Barry were in the, the back seat. And uh, Will and Chuck were having a big fight. They were yelling at each other, saying some horrible things to each other. I, I was getting upset in the back seat, you know. <laughs> but Steve-O was in the driver's seat and they're, of course they're yelling back and forth across Steve-O and steve was just kind of sitting there trying to mind his own business. And Chuck's trying to make us go inside and mingle with the kids, you know, try to recruit some people and says, we, we have to go inside and eat hamburgers with the rest of the, the church that we can't go and get something to eat. And it's getting real heated. Chuck at one point gets so mad, he hits the side of the van real hard and there might, he might've made a dent, I can't remember. But it was, it was pretty heated. So they look back in the back seat and uh, I realize this story would be a lot funnier coming from somebody else that saw it, but they look back in the back seat and I held up our little thing of cash that we got from Wachovia Bank. And I looked at Chuck and I said, well, Mr. Wachovia says we're going to Subway. <laughs> and then everybody just busted out laughing. And uh, that was that story. But yeah. that's the story they wanted me to tell you. So you, the story, what? really, yeah. the moral of the story is the love of money yeah. solves all conflict. Right. So, well, um, I also remember uh, Clay wasn't there, but um, this was when I was an admissions counselor. Um, the, the summer that pretty much all the Cornerstone members got uh, really sick, like Corey had thrush in his mouth and had to, uh, what is, you know. What is thrush? You know, I think it's actually kind of a yeast infection in your mouth, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, my dog just recently had a yeast infection because he was allergic to his food. Um, <laughs> so, so seeing my dog Did scratch himself silly. The same time? No, they didn't. No, because that then, would be really creepy. That would make sense. Um, I wouldn't put it past Corey, actually. But um, So he had but, thrush in his mouth. Right, he had thrush in his mouth. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, in New Orleans, we went down there. I had to sing a little bit. Um, and uh, everybody else kind of hung down there with the rest of the youth group, went to uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. And uh, Corey said, now, guys, listen, I can't, I can't be down here. So he had to lay down in the back seat with me and Chad as we uh, drove back up to Montgomery like a big baby. And the, funny, the funniest part about that story is when they were all laying down in the back seat sick. When they got back, Neil and Chad had thrush in Right, them. right. We left for Montgomery at like... It was like 8 o'clock yeah. or something like that. Got to Troy, went to O'Charlie's. <laughs> they had great roles. Eight. We're sitting in the van ready to go, and I'm sitting in the, <laughs> the back seat. <laughs> And I look over and see Chad sprinting Riding towards the van. <laughs> the van, and he just gives the van a shoulder give, yeah. shoulder bump. And full speed. Yeah. Full speed. Shatter. So he tap. He tries to walk. Well, I get. Trying to shake it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just you're trying to. Jolt it. I don't know. It, it just so shatters. The glass he shatters. The van. Yeah. Yeah. It shatters all over me. So then we <laughs> cardboard. Cardboard yeah. and tape it up. Yeah. Are you ta are you taping right now? Yeah. I mean, we can start over. I was just kind of recapping. Yeah. So we leave Troy, which is like eight hours from Orlando. Yeah. At like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> um, is that the trip we got lost? Okay. Yeah. So we're on the way to Orlando. On top of it being really late, we get lost. Um, we drive like another hour, two hours out of the way. So we're going through the back roads of Florida, trying to get back to Orlando. That was nice. That was um, so we get there, it's uh, daylight. Yeah. So we go to bed <laughs> in broad daylight when it's like, you know, seven or eight o'clock in the morning or however early it was. We all sleep, we, we sleep till dinner time. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh yeah, we performed at like 11 o'clock at night for yeah. like 20 people. So, you know, that was cool. It was all worth it. So, um, yeah, that was uh, my most memorable trip by far, and that was Chad's first <laughs> trip as manager of Cornerstone. So he started out with a bang. Yeah, we broke him in good. Yep. Spring break tour, 2003. Three. Yep. We went to Florida. Yes. And With Brent Hatcher. I think we almost wrecked several times. A lot of rain that, that week. Yep. Brent Hatcher recorded the whole thing. On DVD. We're selling copies, just in case. Makes me sick every time I watch it, though. An Easter egg on this. Motion sickness, yeah. We went golfing uh, one time when we had a little, a few hours in between shows and whatnot. Brent was trying to give us a good time. And, uh, well, Brian Cook, I remember, got really mad. <laughs>
And because, uh, well, none of us were playing well, but I guess maybe he was better than <laughs> some of us and he expected himself to be, play better. So he sat in the van for a little while as we tried to finish the game. <laughs> but uh, then we, we had to I'll go, let Matt tell his story. We had to go pick the clubs up out of the, out of the river that he threw them into yeah, before true. he went to the van. I'm sure he's going to love us telling this story. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we did. There were many times that none of us wanted to stop while we were headed to places, so we would switch drivers without stopping and going. Yeah, not the safest thing in the world. Sixty-five miles an hour on the highway. Um, we can say this now because we have no recourse. Yes. Except for me, I still work here. Well, we just love to sing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, a lot of the other groups, I think had a tough time with stuff, but when we traveled together, we loved it. We loved getting on the road and just being able to, I mean, I continually had a backpack throughout the week. Whenever we had to go somewhere, sometimes it was like, hey, guys, uh, you got a show and we need to leave in 30 minutes. Okay. My bags are packed, ready to go. Sure. I mean, we loved it. Hanging out on the road, playing PlayStation with the 12 uh, inch TV in the back seat of the Cornerstone van that you felt like could kill you at any moment. I uh, really liked it when Chuck uh, decided he was going to decal the Cornerstone van mm. like an ambulance. Yeah. So it's, re it's really nice when you've got Cornerstone like in b huge letters right across the front of the van. Yeah. And uh, you can you know, see it coming for miles. We went three-man show week uh, without Corey. And, we, and then there was the week that we went without the van window. Yep. Oh, there's yeah. yeah, there's been multiple times. We were definitely not the first, and I promise you, even with this new van, we won't be the last person or the last group to bust no out a window. When Chad broke it, he yep. didn't have there was no equipment. He just ran his shoulder into the van. Well uh, we had an off weekend and I was at home at Florida, meeting Casey and John and Corey all up at Florida Bible Camp. I get a phone call from, from Casey saying, Hey bud, where you at? And I told him I was on my way and they said they're on their way, and they're like, yeah, we're going to have to do a three-man show because Corey's not going to be there. And I was like, ah, you guys are funny. There's no three-man show. Of course, there's no three-man show. We got we to have four guys to do our concert. And um, so I didn't believe him when I hung up the phone. And Yeah, he didn't. because, like, he, you just blew it off like, okay, well, I'll see you guys there. And it was, <laughs> there was no argument to it. It was just, all right, whatever, I'll see you guys there. And I was just like, John, I, I really don't think he believes this. I mean, this was still like a... Because we went down the road for a while thinking somebody was just going to bring Corey with us. And we were just going down there to say, hey, we're here. Our last guy's on his way. Yeah. I get there and see the guys and say what's up to him, And it's like, all right, where's Corey? And they're like, we weren't kidding. Corey's really not, not here. here. <laughs> so I had, we had to sing a three-man show for an entire weekend starting at Gainesville. We sang a concert, an entire set concert, gospel and secular songs with three people. And that was our first time. and last three-man show ever. Yep. And we talked. Shout out to. Uh, Cody Bearden was yep. there, and then uh, Johnny Mack from Inagehi, the camp director there, which awesome. was a lot of fun. We, uh, the Inagehi one, Johnny Mack was awesome. He pulled out his guitar, and we got to sing uh, Seven Bridges Road. Yeah, I remember that. that. We sang Brown Eyed Girl with him. Yeah. We sang a bunch of songs. He was he was a lot oldies. of fun. Yeah. He was a lot of fun to sing with. Me and John went fishing in them little pedal yeah. swan boat things. At like two in the morning. <laughs> I mean they are out there forever. Uh, the the week without the van window. The week without the van window starts at Backwoods Christian Camp. We had done our photo shoot for the the cover art for the album and we had used our microphones in that photo shoot. Well, we forgot to put those microphones back in the van, which is what leads to this story. We take all our equipment out to set it up at Backwoods, only to realize we don't have any microphones. Nope. So we're like, okay, well, we gotta put all the equipment back in because we don't have any microphones. We're just gonna sing off mic, I guess. And as we're putting it back in, John is putting one of the speakers in, and for whatever reason, it just shifts right into the van window. <laughs> I mean, just glass everywhere. So we spend the next, what, like 30 minutes? cleaning up glass on the campground, in the van, out of the equipment. Uh, we are riding the whole way home just dreading telling Chad about this window. We're like, you know, what are, what are we going to do? Well, that was probably the most calm Chad had ever been when we told him that because he was like, well, you know, 
It it's not the first time it's happened. Like I said, Chad threw his shoulder into a van window, and you know that's, that's how it. he broke it. At least we were doing something good. So we had those little like those little toys, rubber toys that yep. we that you could go down and we were throwing <laughs> them up against the and semi trucks. We, yeah, and we would do uh, we would take like the plastic trash bags yep. and just and put them over there. We did that for literally an entire week. And that was one of the worst weeks to ride in the van because the air conditioning already was terrible. And on top of that, you know, we're trying to keep cool in the 1,000 degree weather with <laughs> this windowless Huge van. Window. I mean, just gaping hole in our van. It wasn't one of the small windows either. It was the big back one. So I don't think we have any more stories. I, I think we're good. You didn't record any of that? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> You want to see? <laughs>
26, 2009. Uh, we're not here tonight to be sad, but we're here to celebrate what he loved so much, and that was to sing. Uh, we're paying uh, this tribute to, uh, to him, and we thought no better way to pay a tribute to Greg than to have the last group he sang with here with us tonight. Uh, before they come on stage, what I'd like, I've got a certificate that I'd like for uh, uh, Cindy and Auburn to come and receive. And uh, we also have uh, Greg's parents here. Mr. and Ms. Terry would like for you to come forward. called the uh, Pioneer Award, Greg Terry, in appreciation of Greg's pioneering spirit as a founding member of Cornerstone. 
Baltimore is truly indebted to him for tireless dedication to the creation of Cornerstone, which has now come to represent the best of a cappella music and serve the shining symbol of Fault University. sang in a group called Azure and, uh, out of Walker County and uh, we've got uh, two of the guys that sang with him here tonight with us and uh, they've got a sort of special treat. They've asked uh, a couple of the former Cornerstone members Mary Wigington and, and uh, Stephen Freeman to sing with them uh, a couple of songs and then they've got uh, one that uh, Greg helped them with and, and that wrote. So we'd like to pay this tribute at this time to Greg and, and uh, for the great uh, Ambassador he was to, to Faulkner and, and to uh, Christianity as a whole. So, hope you enjoy this tribute. Thank you. I'm on. When my feet have walked that long road And my arms have borne a hard load Then my eyes shall close and find no sleep All my cares will fall behind Lasting peace will ease my mind One last favor, oh Lord, I ask of thee soul on the wings of an angel. Let my hands reach out and touch the sky. When my soul awakes in that land eternal, hear the choir singing well. And I near this chilly river, and I cross the Jordan wide and deep. I will know that all is well. Christ has saved my soul from hell. One last favor, O Lord, I ask of thee. soul on the wings of an angel. Let my hands reach out and touch the sky. When my soul awakes in that land eternal, hear the choir Uh, if you heard four voices in that last song and saw three guys on stage and, and thought the numbers were a little off, you were right and wrong. Uh, that was Greg Terry singing. Uh, that song meant a lot to him, uh, and it meant a lot to those guys, I know, to, uh, to be able to sing with that. So one more big hand for, for Daryl and for Jomo and for Adam for doing that.
And we hope that, I, I know that meant a lot to, to Greg's parents and, and to Cindy and all. Um, uh, next, we'd like to invite two more guys onto the stage with some of the guys you just saw. So help me welcome back Jonathan and Adam along with Stephen Freeman and Barry Wigginton. Like Joey mentioned earlier, Adam and I was uh, part of the last group that Greg sang with, and that was one of the songs that we sang. And, uh, some of these, that we're going to do a couple of songs here, but this one we're fixing to sing next was a song that we always talked about doing, but we never had the opportunity to sing. So we're going to go ahead and sing that one tonight for you, and it's called Search Me, Lord. Well, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Please search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Oh, well, turn, turn the lights from heaven onto my soul. And if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to live right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. Well, you know when I'm right. You know, you know when I'm wrong. You know where I go, Lord. You know where I belong. You know what I do, and you know my secrets too. Lord, search me, touch me, cleanse me through and through. Well, now search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Please search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Well, now is the turn. Turn the lights from heaven onto my soul. And if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to live right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. Well, you know all of my thoughts. You know my every deed. You know where I go. Lord, you know just what I need. Well, if there's something there now that I'm not aware. Lord, take it and move it. Keep me in your care. Well, now search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Please search me, Lord. Search me, Well, Lord. now is the turn. Turn the lights from heaven onto my soul. Well, if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to live right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. Well, now search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Woo, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Well, well, well. Turn. Turn the lights from heaven onto my soul. Well, if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to live right. I want to be saved. I want to be This next song was actually a song that uh, Greg and Cornerstone sang when he was in Cornerstone. Barry and Steve-O sang a version of it when they were in Cornerstone. And then we sang it together as Azure. Uh, so it'll be kind of different from what they're singing. And we appreciate them for stepping in and singing with us. But it's called, There is Coming a Great Day. There is coming a great day, well, and it won't be very long. All the saints are going to gather, we're going to gather around God's throne, and we're going to feast on milk and honey. We're going to sing and never get tired. There is coming a great day when the Lord returns for his bride. Oh, oh, there is coming a great day, well, and it won't be very long. All the saints are going to gather, we're going to gather around God's throne, and we're going to feast on milk and honey, and we're going to sing and never get tired. There is coming a great day when the Lord returns for his bride. I don't know the day, nor do I know the hour, but when the Son of Man shall return in all his glory and power, well, it may be in the morning, well, it may be night or noon. I just know we'll be called away when we hear that trumpet tune. Oh, there is coming a great day, well, and it won't be very long. All the saints are gonna gather, we're gonna gather around God's throne. We're gonna feast on milk and honey, we're gonna sing and never get tired. 
There is coming a great day when the Lord returns from his bride. And there's a great day a coming, a great day a coming. There's a great day a coming by and by. coming a great day well then it won't be very long all the saints are gonna gather we're gonna gather around god's throne and we're gonna feast on milk and honey and we're gonna sing and never get tired there is coming a great day when the lord returns for his bride are you ready are you ready are you ready for the judgment great day and it won't be very long very long all the saints are gonna gather we're gonna gather around god's throne and we're gonna feast on milk and honey and we're gonna sing and never get tired there is coming a great day when the lord returns for his bride And this final song that we'll do together uh, was a song that Greg wrote, uh, and he brought it to us when we sang together in Azure. And we sang it, and it was actually the last song that we sang together with Greg because it was our finale song, and he had written it. It's a beautiful song. He sang the lead on it. I can't give it justice, but I just hope I can remember the words to it. Just a little wood frame church on a scenic country hill Where I learned Bible lessons like not my will well, As I look back in my mind, it was such a glorious place Where we sing those good old gospel hymns like amazing Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Well, I remember every spring on Decoration Day, fresh cut flowers in the grave. Sing about a higher ground Pressing on the upward way New heights I'm gaining Every day Still praying as high onward bound Lord, plant my feet on higher ground Well, a lot of time has passed I was in that meeting place, but I still remember every smile on every single face. Well, a brighter day is coming, and I know it won't be long till we'll all be joined together and we'll sing a brand new song. When we all, when we all get to heaven.
How about a big hand for these four? Well, we must start uh, this part of the program by telling all of you a secret. Uh, uh, the guys that are here, this is the largest uh, gathering, I guess, uh, of members of Cornerstone uh, that we've ever had before. And, and none of us care uh, if you guys have a good time because we are all excited uh, about the reunion that we're having. Uh, there's a lot of folks that haven't seen each other in a long time that are getting to renew some old friendships tonight. So if, if, if none of you out there clap, we're okay. We know that you're getting what you paid for, first of all. Uh, second, uh, for all of us, this is like multiple choice acapella. We're, we're trying to figure out words. We're trying to figure out parts. Uh, and, and so we hope that you enjoy it because I guarantee you that, that we all enjoy it. Uh, you know, Cornerstone's been around now for a quarter century. One of the rarest things in Cornerstone is to have a group repeat uh, without changing from year to year. The second rarest thing is for all four guys to be brand new. And that's what you've got behind me now. The average age of these four is like 13, 13 and a half. Uh, they're all very young guys. This is the new generation of Cornerstone. They've been together since tryouts this May. Uh, and we thought, what better way to open up the Cornerstone part of the show uh, than to let you guys hear the current Cornerstone. So put your hands together for Daniel, Cameron, Chase, and Hinton Horn. Thank you all very much. This first song we're going to sing for you guys is a song that we have constructed together of two songs that we always sing in church. And it's, I love you, Lord, and glorify thy name. And this song really touches us as people and as, and as Christians, too, because Faulkner has given us a great opportunity to do this and to carry on this great tradition. And so we, this is one of our favorite songs as a group because it means so much, not only to us, but in praising God. Hope you guys like it. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you Thank y'all so much. The next song that we're gonna do is um, probably one of our favorites. Uh, we don't sing it very much during the semester, I don't know why. But on tour, uh, we sung it at every camp. And um, it's kind of a slow one. We originally heard it from Zoe Group, uh, but I think it, it kind of really, the words really spoke to us and, and it's probably one of our favorites and it's called Refiner's Fire. Refiner's fire, my heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord, 
I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Refiner's fire, my heart's one desire. choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Refiner's fire, my heart's one desire. choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Lord, I'm ready to do Thank you. This year for our secular show, we did a, a lot of collection of 50s and between like 50s and 70s, 80s songs. And but we actually mixed it up one time. I had like a 2009 song in with all those 70s songs. So got a little mixture. And this next song is that one song, and it's called "Fall for You." And it was made famous by a band called Secondhand Serenade. So I hope you guys enjoy this. The best thing about tonight's that we're not fighting. Could it be that we have been this way before? I know you don't think that I am trying. I know you're wearing thin down to the core. But hold your breath, because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind, or I won't leave. To see another day, I swear it's true. Because a girl like you's impossible to find. You're impossible to find. This is not what I intended. I always swore to you I never fall apart. You always thought that I was stronger. I may have failed, but I have loved you from the start. Oh, but hold your breath Because tonight will be the night That I will fall for you over again Don't make me change my mind Or I won't live to see another day I swear it's true Because a girl like you's impossible to find You're impossible, so breathe and so deep Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind, or I won't live to see another day. I swear it's true, because a girl like you is impossible to find. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. I swear it's true Because a girl like you is impossible to find You're impossible to find
Thank you. This next song we're going to do is going to be our last song we're going to sing for you guys tonight. And it's a song that um, was one of the 50 songs we were talking about. And um, it was brought back by a Dell commercial about three or four years ago to advertise their computers and all the new colors for it. And it's called Lollipop. Hope you guys like it. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Call my baby lollipop, tell you why. Her kiss is sweeter than an apple pie. And when she does a shake, she rock and dance. Oh man, I haven't got a chance. But I call her lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Sweeter than candy on a stick, huckleberry cherry or rye. If you have the choice, she'd fill your pick. But the lollipop is mine. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, a lollipop. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Consists of uh, Corey Cantrell, Ryan Stiffy, Casey Crawford, and John Woolley. So, guys, come on. Much. Ooh. Somebody's ringing. All right, it's not me. Carry each other's burdens. Carry each other's burdens. Your spiritual fervor, keep, keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Be devoted to one another. 
one another in brotherly love. So, uh, Faulkner University, be devoted to one another. All right. Some people still remember it. Um, this, yeah, this next yeah. song we're going to sing, uh, this was one of our favorite songs to sing this year. Uh, well, not this year, but the year that we sang together. You get it. Um, uh, it's a really special song to us, uh, and it's a really special song in general. The song's actually written uh, from the point of view of Jesus, and it has some really strong words to it. Uh, so really just listen to the words to this song. Uh, it's got an incredible message to it, and we hope you enjoy it as much as we did. This song is called Face to Face. Do, do. Don't hold back. 
Cause Scooby Doo, if you come through, you're gonna have yourself a Scooby Snack. Bobber University! Scooby Dooby Doo, let's see. Oh, I see you. And your will, and now you know it. We count you, Scooby Doo. I know you'll catch that feeling. You know we got a mystery to solve, so Scooby Doo, be ready for your act. Don't hold back. It's Scooby Doo, if you come through, you're gonna have yourself a Scooby Snack. That's a fact. Jack, Let's put up, gang. Scooby Doo. That's <laughs> it. from our first year of Cornerstone. Everybody give Brandon Bush a welcome. He's not, he's not copy. He's not copy. What? We're going to do a song that he brought to the group um, whenever he's ready. Check. Okay. Check. Check. Prestige. When we reached that city of the New Jerusalem where we'll see So I 
other than my feet made it to it. And ever since that wonderful day, my soul's been satisfied. Well, the Lord moves in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. You know, he plants his feet on every step, and then he rides on every storm. Well, he picks my feet for right and left my eyes. So and he fixes my tongue, tongue so I can say, praise God, I'm satisfied. When I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied with Jesus. So satisfied with Jesus. He said he would be my comfort. I know that he said he would be my guide. Well, well, I looked at my hands. My hands looked blue. I looked at my feet, made it too. And ever since that wonderful day, my soul's been satisfied. Well, I live way down yonder in the Boys, I was wondering all along And he was there, I met my Jesus And he claimed me for his own And then he wrapped his arms all around me And he held me up to his side Yes, I'm satisfied I'm satisfied Oh, I'm satisfied Don't you know that he said he would be my comfort Since that wonderful day, my soul's been satisfied. Well, I'm satisfied with Jesus. Satisfied with Jesus. He said He would be my comfort. And He said He would be my guide. Well, well, I looked at my hands. My hands look new. I looked at my feet and they did too. And ever since that wonderful day, my soul's been satisfied. My soul. And the 
try to find the best uh, three guys that were here tonight. Uh, none of them were available right now. And so uh, I thought if it's okay with everyone, that I'm just going to sing a quick song uh, with, with these three. Yeah. 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 Your group didn't want it will not be enjoyable, but again, I will enjoy it. So uh, <laughs> We're going to have fun with it. If you need something to drink, this is probably a good time there's to a, help yourself. There's a reason your group didn't show up. Uh, sick burn. I love you, if you could stop the laughing, Mom Stout, we're just going to go ahead and sing a gospel song now, but you keep laughing. All right, good. That's good. That's good. You do that in church, do you? Oh, okay. Good. Good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. They're not used to somebody that's actually funny saying it's no good. Now I'm ready. Now everybody wants a video. A thousand times I fail, still your mercy remains. And should I stumble again, still I'm caught in your grace everlasting. Your light will shine when all else fades, never ending. Your glory goes beyond all fame. Your will above all. Self and bringing you praise everlasting. Your light will shine when all else fades, never ending. Your glory goes beyond all things. My heart and my soul, Lord, I give you control. Consume me from the inside out. Lord, let justice and praise become my embrace to love you from the inside out. Everlasting, your light will shine when all else fades, never ending. Your glory goes beyond all fame and the cry of my heart is to bring. my 
University. Uh, eating a lot of crystals and, and spending a lot of money at gas stations, and, and you would be correct uh, with that. But there's also times we go to nice steak restaurants as well. So uh, it's tough sometimes to order uh, when, when Dr. Hillier's card is paying for all of those meals. Uh, this next group, I'm sure, will entertain you. Uh, they're all standing behind the curtain, so I have zero idea who they are. But that doesn't matter because you're going to give them a big round of applause right now. Thanks. Thanks. dealing with uh, microphone issues, especially being in a group. I remember one concert, Matt actually uh, was singing and his, the head of his microphone just fell over. So, uh, I remember that vividly. Uh, well, uh, we sang, um, actually the four of us didn't sing together in a year, but we're representing 2002 through 2004 school years in Cornerstone. You want to introduce? This song is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more. According to his power that is at work within us now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. According to his power that is at work within us to him be the glory of the church and in Christ's church. According to his power that is at work within us now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. According to his power that is at work within us to him be the boy in the church and the church and the
gotta tell him what you want. Go on and call him up and tell him what you want. Well, you can't call him up, I said. Call him up, I said. And tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up, I said, and tell him what you want. You can call him up, I said, call him up, I said, and tell him what you want. Go on and call him up and tell him what you want. Well, his line ain't never busy. You can tell him what you What you want to say, his line ain't never busy. You can't tell him what you want. You got to call him up and tell him what you want. Well, if you're sick and you want to get well, tell him what you want. If you're sick and you want to get well, tell him what you want. What you want, you got to call him up and tell him what you want. Go on, go on, sing it now. Call him, call him, call him, say, call him, and tell him what you want. You got to call him, call him, call him, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. You got to. Call him up and tell him what you want. How about a big hand for these guys? Uh, I, I hinted at it just a minute ago about Cornerstone being a grueling process, and uh, uh, there is no man in the world who has dealt with more of that gruel uh, than this one right here. Uh, there, there are several guys who have had the privilege of singing in Cornerstone for four years. Uh, there are several guys who had the privilege of singing uh, a, a little more sporadically, and maybe they stretched out into five years. I'm thinking of, of Barry specifically. Uh, but nobody in the world has made Cornerstone five years in a row except Brian Cook right here. Uh, Cook and now, most of that is attributed to his great vocal skills. A little bit of that's the fact he didn't finish college in four years, right? Uh, but we thought that after 25 years of Cornerstone, he is the reigning champion of being in the group for so long. We could not let him leave this night without proper recognition. So we had this made for him, and I was privileged to sing with him for three years. Uh, he was like a father figure to me. You can take that however you want. This is the Cornerstone Longevity Award. Presented to Brian Cookie Cook, 11, 11, 11. And Cookie, I'm so happy to be able to give this to you. Love you, buddy. One of the few times I'll actually be speechless in my entire life. That's true. Well, thank you, really. I'm, I really am honored. Um, the time I've spent here is definitely the, some of the best times of my life. Got to spend a lot of time traveling, meeting a lot of great people, um, a lot of familiar faces out there that I see, people I've gotten to know and love. I met my wife here, and um, because of Cornerstone, actually, I met my wife. My very first summer in Cornerstone, I met her at a youth rally in Huntsville, Alabama. Recruited her to come to school, and then you know, several years later we got married. So it can work out. But uh, anyway, uh, this last song that we're going to sing because we only have one more song to go was from my last year. It was uh, written by Vince Gill, um, the man that sang the lead on our track. Uh, couldn't make it tonight, so I will be subbing in his place poorly. And um, 
But this song is it's a great song. It's a Vince Gill hit that he wrote um, after the death of his brother. And this song is called Go Rest High. Uh, this album went double platinum, so I'm sure most of you have it. Uh, this is uh, going to be a fun set. So give a, a big round of applause to Tony, Stevo, Ryan, and Barry. Just one kind of going once, going twice. 
some soul to lay in the long black dress and she won my heart in no contest with a group of men that's blind and new eyes and I'm better than my heart can buy Well, we found love on the auction block and she hauled my heart away Come on, I'm channeling my Fort Payne <laughs> Now we still love the life about the way we met that day when I said, hey, pretty lady, would you give me a sign? I give you a me a sign. I be a good man. Please let me go. I'm never singing on the top of my head. I know she's one of the kind of going. Going to watch the top of the lady in the second row. She's late. She's not here down. No, she's got me real. It's fun to hear you. I'm a little more hugging by. Na 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 na
This next song we're going to do is uh, actually one that we always, uh, we ended a lot of shows with, and uh, it's uh, just a really pretty song with great words, and I uh, hope you enjoy this called Shine On Us. Lord, let your light, light of your face, shine on
Mic switch here. Switch your mic. Steve-O's tired of singing like a girl, so he's gonna try out his hand out at bass. Mm. See how that works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this next song we're gonna do is a pretty popular devotional song. Um, it's got a great message called "What the Lord Has Done to Me." <laughs> Bear with me. You ready for this? Nope. Let the weak say I am strong, and let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind say I can see, it's what the Lord has done in me. Let the weak say I am strong, and let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind say I can see is what the Lord has done in me. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain. Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Into the river I will wade. There my sins are washed away. From the heaven's mercy stream of the Savior's love for me. And I will rise from waters deep into the safety. I will sing salvation song Cause Jesus Christ has set me free Hosanna, Hosanna To the Lamb that was slain Hosanna, Hosanna Jesus died and rose 
Thank you've heard this once before tonight, but we're gonna sing it again. Thanks yeah. A, so thanks a lot, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you liked it. If not, well. like it again. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. That's Mo boom, better. Boom, boom, boom. Still going. I was thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was good. Please be done. All right. This last song is called so Walking in Memphis, and Steve is going to sing the lead on it. And here we go. Let's do it. Do you want me to sing to you, John? John, do you want to come up stage so I can sing to you? John looks like he's been sang to one too many times. That's true, thank Do it. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded a plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues, in the middle of the pouring rain. WC handed, oh, won't you look down over me? Cause yeah, I've got a first class ticket, but I'm as blue as a boy can be when I was walking in Memphis. Walking with my feet ten feet off of me, walking in Memphis. Do I really feel the way I feel? Saw the ghost of him down on Union Avenue. I followed him up to the gates of Graceland, and then I watched him walk right through. Now, sir. 
security they did not see him they just hovered around his tomb well there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the jungle room when i was walking in memphis walking with my feet in your feet all believe walking in Yeah. <laughs> Rusty. Yeah. Boy, you got a prayer in Memphis. Miriam plays piano every Friday at the Hollywood. They brought me down to see her, and they asked me if I would do a little number. So I sang with. Tell me, are you a Christian? I said, ma'am, I am tonight. I was walking in Memphis. Walking with my feet, 10 feet off a beer. Walking in Memphis. But do I really feel the way I feel? Walking in Memphis. Walking with my feet, 10 feet off a beer. Walking in Memphis. Do I really feel? Shoes and I boarded the plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues. In the middle of the pouring rain. Thank you. Went to Scotland back in. Uh, it was 2004, I think, and uh, we were walking around downtown on the, the streets of Aberdeen, Scotland, and we came across this guy that was playing the bagpipes. So we we sat and listened to him play for a while, and uh, we started talking to him for a little bit. And uh, this next song is one that he taught us. So hope you enjoyed. It's called What Heavenly Music. What heavenly music steals over the sea, entrancing the senses like sweet melody. Tis the voice of the angels born soft on the Send a convoy of angels, dear Jesus, I pray. Let me join that sweet music, come take me away. Though dark are the waters, and rough is the way, if she Jesus permit the wild surges I'll break for the heavenly music hath ravished me so I must join in that chorus I'll go let me go I must join
That's why I live to please an audience of one. Holy, holy, holy Lamb of God. what matters who am I to choose without your lead I lose that's why I live to please an audience of We're going to bring uh, Neil Scott on stage. He's going to help us out with a, uh, a song. It was kind of a crazy year. We had some, some, uh, some people leave and come. And so we, there were like six of us that sang during uh, the 2004, 2005 year. So um, Neil sang with us uh, on the, uh, the Christmas tour. <laughs> Did a great job filling, it, filling in. And uh, we wanted to make him... Uh, part of uh, the Cornerstone reunion, so uh, we're going to... We're waiting on Steve-O right now. Neil's going to sing lead and tenor on this song. <laughs> Very talented guy. I sing a simple song of love to my Savior, oh, to my Jesus. I'm grateful for the things you've done, my loving Savior, oh precious Jesus. And my heart is glad that you called me your own, and there's no place I'd rather be. song of love to my Savior, to my Jesus. I'm grateful for the things you've done, my loving Savior, oh precious Jesus. And my heart is glad that you've called me your own. I'd rather be than in your arms of love, in your arms of love, holding me still, holding me near, holding me still, holding
We've got a mic, Chad. She's got a mic. All right, how many of you like Disney movies? All right. This next song is for the six of you. What's your favorite Disney movie, though? Corey, what's your favorite? Beauty and the Beast. That's a good thing. That's, that's a good one. Beauty and the Beast is a good one. Anybody else got any favorite Disney movies out there? Tangled. That's a good one. The Little Mermaid, that's, that's one of my favorites. Aladdin, that's a good one, too. I try to stay away from talking about Aladdin too much. This next song is a song that came off the Little Mermaid soundtrack. You ready? This is this is your your debut. Well, no, you sang one earlier. Well, I, I, I think you're really gonna do well on this song. song. This is my debut right here. As much as I want to start in that key, I don't want to. Let's, let's do it. Gonna go higher? Yeah, man. I thought you were a bass. I used to be, back when I was in Cornerstone. <laughs> there you go. That's it. because I'm trying to remember the first words. <laughs> there you see her. That's it. There you see her Sitting there across the way She don't got a lot to say But there's something about her There's something about her. <laughs> you want to go to the chorus? I think that song is dead. I wish we knew a song off Beauty and the Beast, because we don't know one off of Little Mermaid. <laughs> I want to try it one more time. I think I can remember it. <laughs> one more time, and I won't talk as much, I promise. You really are going to We'll be done by midnight tonight. What? <laughs> Let me think for just a second. You sing, I'll think. Hold on, I got it. Shut up. 
Sha la 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 la, don't be scared. You got to move, prepare, go on and kiss it, girl. Sha la 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 la, don't stop now. Don't try to hide it. How you wanna kiss it, girl? Sha la 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 la, float along and listen to the sun. The sun say, kiss it, girl. Sha la 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 la, music say, do what the music say. Go on and kiss it, girl. There you see her. Sitting there across the way She don't got a lot to say But there's something about her Bada. All right, I got the words now, right? <laughs> Woman, I know, shut up, do do do. I don't want to shut up, do do do. Woman, I know, shut up, do do do. I don't want to shut up, do do do. Every woman I know, she must be crazy about it. I don't want to be a whoa, 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 whoa. Every woman I know, she's crazy. She got to have something. I don't want to be a whoa, whoa, whoa. Here I am, here we are, another mother of her here. One more time. I just want to make another quick plug for the events of tomorrow. It's really going to be, thanks, Clay. Um, thanks. Uh, it's really going to be a busy day, so hopefully if, if uh, you haven't gotten your schedules by the end of the night, that you'll get your hands on one. Again, if you want uh, a CD of tonight's proceedings uh, or a video, you can order those at the alumni table as well as learn more about our alumni association. These next uh, set of four, maybe five, maybe six guys at some point uh, represent uh, groups from varying years. Uh, so it should be a good time. So let me introduce to you now John and Evan and Brandon and Jeremy and somebody else. David. Somebody else really thought that was funny. Yeah. 
Remember Sam Jesus gave water. Jesus gave water. Gave water. Oh, Jesus gave water. Gave water. Gave water. Gave water. And it was not from the well. Went alone that woman. She had pity. She ran back to the city. Crack glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to let her praise the swell. Every time she nodded, she stopped to think about it. The man that gave her the water. And it was not from the well. That song's got a great first verse. I, was, yes, I, really was is. I thought you guys probably needed to go to bed earlier tonight anyway. Yeah, we're so. trying to shave it down a little bit. Um, th we're, uh, we're representing uh, several years of Cornerstone. We were all here at the same time. We were all good friends. And uh, you know, Cornerstone was a neat way for us to not just get to know each other, but really become brothers. And uh, so it's been a blessing that even, I hadn't seen David in like 17 years. And seeing him, it was just like it was yesterday. So uh, I know you don't care, but I told you that story. Next song. <laughs> Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And he
Okay. All right. <laughs> Forgot what we were doing next. Okay. <laughs> God, we're so old. It's past bedtime. <clears throat> All right. This one starts out a little different. Uh, this will be our last one, so we'll move on and let other people do stuff. It starts out like this. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, well, just a little talk with, with Jesus makes it right, yeah, it's all right, 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 oh, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. What did I do? You totally different pitch of what we've been practicing for the last two hours. <laughs> That's my fault for making that sound so bad, but my man here uh, <laughs> chased it up on me. I didn't think it was that high. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's perfectly comfortable to me. <laughs> How about him? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. How about this right here? How about this? How about this? I once was lost in sin, lost in sin but, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. So let it, go. All right. it made my heart in love, and, love. And, it wrote my and it wrote my name above. Name above. And just, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Have a little talk, a little talk with Jesus. A little Tell him all about our troubles. And he will hear our faith. Makes it right. Well, it's all right. 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 Oh, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It's all 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 right. Oh, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, I may have doubts and Is a friend who watches day and night. Hey, I go to I go him in prayer. He knows he my knows every my care. care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us Tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry and will answer will by. Just a little talk with, with Jesus makes it right. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. 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 Ooh, just a little talk with, with Jesus makes it right. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, it's all right. 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 Yeah, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Hey, it's all right. 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 Oh, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Oh, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right.
let's give these guys a big hand. It's all right. <laughs> we have uh, one other group we want to bring on. Back in uh, 1986, when we uh, came up with the concept of Cornerstone, uh, three of these guys really stepped up, and uh, we were just uh, so excited. Then uh, a couple of years later, I remember on this very stage, we, uh, uh, we were looking for a new bass singer, and uh, Matt Presley came up and tried out. And uh, Matt, uh, I, I remember that evening, I said, Matt, you've made the group, and they're leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning. And he said, uh, Joey, I don't even have any clothes. His brother Chris lived here in town. I said, you better go see Chris because you're hitting the road tomorrow. And so uh, he jumped in the van and took off and had a great time. So I'd like to introduce Jimmy Faulkner, Sam Wright, uh, Daryl Shackelford, and Matt Presley. Turn up number 10, that'd be peachy. I don't sing loud as I used to back in the day. <laughs> Try not to. I was out on the day in my daddy's car. We hadn't gotten very far. There in the road, looking straight ahead, the car was stalled. can see my baby when I leave this world. I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still. To do run, 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 to do run, run. Somebody told me that her name was she. To do run, 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 to do run, run. Do run, 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 and do run, run. Yeah, she caught my eye. Yeah, my oh my. Hey, when I walked her home. Do run, 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 and do run, run. Do run, 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 and do run, run. Do run, 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 and do run, run. I got sunshine on a cloud. Some breath, I'm sorry. I know, old guys gotta breathe. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I hope that you've been 
enjoy the show. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good. We hope that you've enjoyed our show. Our show. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Yeah. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Well, that's the, uh, that is the good night to our 50s program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, with the next uh, several songs that we we'll singing will be gospel. Uh, it was my privilege, and I'm not, I'm not going to talk very long, but it was my privilege in 1988 uh, as a, just a young 17-year-old kid who thought he knew everything and realized he knew nothing. Thank you, Mama Stouch. Uh, that uh, to be able to come and sing with these two guys here to my right and, of course, Greg, and uh, my predecessor right over here, uh, we knew each other. And uh, Sam is a, a man, he comes from a singing family, a great family. I want to introduce Mr. Sam Wright right here to my left. Give him a big hand, please. Singing tenor and lead tonight. All right. To my right, the one, the only, the myth, the mod, the legend, Jimmy Faulkner. Yeah, Jimmy All the way down on the end. I'm speechless. Daryl Shackelberg. Oh, man. Matt don't love me. Hey, we got we to gotta tell you one thing here. Uh, this guy right here named Cornerstone, and we were here. In fact, the school was named after Jimmy Faulkner. That's right. That's what it is. He was here. We were here when Joey was wheeling the abacus out and putting the computers in. So yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. We've been around just a wee bit, but we're really glad to be here with you tonight. All right. And I'm Matt Presley, He's and I'm um, thankful to be a part of this. That's no, okay. That's okay. And let me introduce you to Matt Presley. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Woo, give me a hand. All right. Now we've gotten our oldie stuff. Now this out next of the way. song, this next song, I, I've always loved it. Written by James Faulkner himself, Gonna Get Ready. Well, well I'm gonna get ready. 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 Gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready. Gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready. Gonna get ready for the Lord. Well, brothers and sisters, we do not know just when the Lord will come, but we should know that we still need to be ready. Well, we may die on this old earth before that judgment day, but when He comes, He wants us all to be ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. Going to get ready for the Lord. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready for the Lord. Well, the Bible tells you what to do if you don't think you're ready. So let's go read it and find out how to get ready. Well, Jesus Christ died for our sins and showed us how to get ready. Get ready, ready for the Lord. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready for the Lord. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready, going to get ready for the Lord. Are you going to get ready? Are you going to get ready? Are you going to get ready? Ready for the Lord. Are you going to get ready? Are you going to get ready? Are you going to get ready? Ready for the Lord. Are you going to get ready? Ready for the Lord. James wrote 
like a whole CD worth of songs, and they're pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's it's a really neat thing to be back here and see a lot of faces I know, and I've been Tennis visiting one, with a lot of you, and I've been Tennis loving one, that. Two. And uh, some of Tennis you look one, just two. like you. Keith, Mark, and Paige, y'all look just like you did. At the, dude, patent that secret. Yes, it's it's Keith, Mark. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what, that wasn't Keith. But, yeah, you guys look great. And, and I see some faces out there that I recognize, and I think you're probably the kids of people we went to school with because you look just like them. And that's kind of cool. But uh, I guess that's what reunions are about, right? This one. Uh, Lighthouse. It's one of my favorites. It is. Back in uh, this year would be 30 years that Greg and I have been singing together. And uh, we learned this one early on and sang it through high school and kept on doing it through college. So it's, it's one of our favorites. Hope you enjoy Lighthouse. There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks life when I'm tossed, it sends out a light, a light that I might see. And the light that shines in darkness now will safely lead it a soul. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would be no more. And I Tell me where 
This next song is Matt's. Man, old people need to write bigger. This has always been Matt's mom's favorite song. That is my mom's favorite song. For we me. ain't scared, man. We'll do it if you want to. Go ahead. Right. No. And Lighthouse is my father's favorite song, so I thank you guys for singing both of those. Gone is all my debt of sin, a great change is brought within, and to live I now begin, risen from the fall. Yet the debt I did not pay, someone died for me one day, sweeping all the dead away, Jesus paid. And this one goes way, way back. I don't know who first did it, uh, but it's been done by hundreds of groups and uh, one of my favorite songs, Robin Crown. I'll tell you how far this thing goes back. I need lyrics. <laughs> I, actually, I'll take up for him. He wasn't actually in the group when we sang this song. But that's, yeah, he just learned it today. But we have karaoke up here, so it's okay. We do. <laughs> need the bouncing ball. Watch ye, therefore, you know not the day not the when the Lord shall call your souls away. If you're fighting, striving for the right, you shall wear a robe and crown. Watch ye, therefore, you know not the day when the Lord shall call your souls away. If you're fighting, striving for the right, you shall wear a robe. When the trumpet sounds, when the trumpet sounds, oh, I'm gonna wear a crown. Just as soon as the feet strike Zion, gonna lay down the heavy burden, put on my robe up in glory. Shout and tell the glad story. Gonna sit down beside my King Jesus, tell him I how I let it over. Put on my robe up in glory. Shout and tell the glad story. We shall wear a robe and crown. Watch ye. Therefore, you know not the day when the Lord shall call your souls away. If you're fighting, striving for the right, you shall wear a robe and crown. Oh, I'm going to wear a crown. I'm going to wear a crown. When the trumpet sounds, when the trumpet sounds, oh, I'm going to wear a crown. 
Sam did a great job for not knowing that song. That was pretty easy. Sam. We've come to the end, and we are grateful for all of you folks. I tell you, it was cool. Uh, I was commenting earlier that uh, a lot of the young men that came across here were in elementary school and middle school, and some even weren't even born when we started. And, uh, and so it's, it's a great pl uh, pleasure and privilege uh, uh, to see some folks uh, like my good buddy Stan Freeman right there. We go way, way back, and he and Daryl even go way, way, way back. Yeah, boy. We're he glad to see all of you folks. Uh, I, I got to make mention of my good friend Janet Watts. I'll tell you right now, Janet uh, was the glue that held us together for, for a year at least uh, on some of those long, long, long trips. And uh, I, mean, I, mean, I meant that in the best, best lie there. And, uh, but uh, Janet traveled with us, and Odillo, and Ross Mitchell, so many other of those guys, and of course, Joey uh, put up with us for all those years, and we are very grateful to have a part in this. And, uh, and I, 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 I've got to say something. Uh, the first time I, I, I joined, uh, when I became a part of, of Cornerstone in 88, it was June of 88, and uh, it was like an answer to my prayers because I thought I'm going to have to stay at home a whole summer before I get to go to Faulkner. And I'm going to have to wait a whole year before I get to be in Cornerstone. And, Things worked out where I was able to start uh, early in, in June. And I remember going to JT and Barbara's house, and, and JT looks at me with that look like he has, and he said, son, all I want to know is can you sing Amazing Grace? And I said, well, I'll try, sir. We're not going to sing that song tonight, but I was just letting you know. No, we're not. But at any rate, uh, I love JT and Barbara, and, and they've been like my second parents for sure all these years. And it's been a great privilege to, to sing with these guys and have a chance to renew acquaintance with Sam and get a part of of just a wonderful thing that's going to hope Cornerstone continues for another 25 years. And, uh, and, and we really get to come up here with our walkers and canes next time. And, uh, but, I, but I thank you all. We really do. The last song we're going to sing is uh, Acapella made it famous probably in 83, 84. It's John the Revelator. A man was cast one day As he was left alone to die He began to pray The Holy Ghost fell on him The Spirit came down He began to write about the things he saw The Revelator's name was John John the Revelator He saw Jerusalem coming down Yes, it was John John the Revelator And when he looked around Something feet like fast, eyes like fire, heard a great voice saying, come up higher. John the Revelator wrote about the city of God. While in the spirit. I'm waiting on him. Don't get ahead of don't, me, don't big rush boy. The, don't rush the boy. While in the spirit praying, John turned around to see if the voice he had heard was what it seemed to be. Like the many waters, the great trumpet sound said, I am the first and last. The Revelator wrote it down. John the Revelator, he saw Jerusalem coming down. John the Revelator, and when he looked around, he saw feet like brass, eyes like fire, heard a great voice saying, Come up higher. It was John the Revelator, wrote about the city of God. So, well, John. He saw Jerusalem coming down. Talked about John, John the Revelator. And when he looked around, he saw feet like brass, eyes like fire. Heard a great voice and come up higher. Was John the Revelator wrote about the city of God. Talked about John the Revelator. He saw Jerusalem coming down. John the Revelator. And when he looked around, 
he saw feet like brass, eyes like fire, heard a great voice and come up high was John the Revelator, wrote about the city of God. Wrote about the city of God. Thank y'all very much. Thank you, Jimmy. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for blessing us with this night. And God, we're so thankful uh, for the last 25 years. All of us have been able to experience some, some wonderful times, incredible memories, and lasting friendships. We pray, Father, that it will last not only in this life, but the life to come. I'm so thankful for all these guys up here, for the legacy that they continue to carry on, for the current members of Cornerstone who are who are uh, embarking on the next 25 years. We're so thankful, God, for how good you are to us. And we pray and humbly that you'll forgive us of our sins, that you'll help us to do what's right, to honor and glorify the sweetest name above all names. It's the name of Jesus. I'm so thankful for all the good folks in attendance tonight. I pray you'll bless them especially. And bless all of our families, whether they're near or far, and keep them safe. And God, bless all university and all of its staff and teachers and students, and may continue to grow and be a positive force for Jesus Christ in this world and this community. We ask this 
prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. 